you that to just to make you aware about the situation that you are in, sir. So that is in some outstanding taxability spending under your name. So let me introduce myself. I am the senior investigation officer, and my name is Matthew Benjamin. My batch ID number is A R one zero one zero nine five. So could you help me out the first name and last name so that I can pull up your address from my system? Yes, absolutely. That's John. J O N Benjamin. Yeah. Yep. Benjamin. Yep. Okay. Could you help me with the shipping address? The shipping address? Yeah. Okay. Building, present billing address. Yeah. Uh, it's P.O. Box 1004. P.O. Box. P.O. Box. P.O. Box 1004. Okay. And that's in... 1004. Uh, yes. In okay, go ahead. Hudson, New York. In Hudson, New York. Yes, one two five three four. That's the. That's the address I file for my taxes. Just hold on, hold. Hello. Just hold on, hold on oh, a moment. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I Just apologize. Okay, I will repeat your uh, billing address, P.O. Box 1004 in Hudson. After that, what you said, could you please repeat for me once again? It is in Hudson, New York, and the zip code is oh. one. Uh, zip code, what you said, zip code? Zip code is 12534. 12534. Correct. Okay. Thank you for your patience, Mr. John Benjamin. Thank you. And the reason which I've called you that, that is some outstanding tax pending under your name, so which you are being listed as a primary suspect. So I'm talking oh. about your federal taxes, John. Right. So which you pay every year, either incorrect or else you have made some mistakes while filling the taxes. Oh, yeah. So please grab a pen and paper handy with you so that I can say the case ID number, brief information about your case file. Okay. Bye. Your case ID number is C as in a Charlie, C, C as in a Peter. I'm C P nine O. Nine O. I'm sorry. C P. C P. Yeah. Nine O. Nine O. Eight three two. Eight three two. Of course. Okay. Okay. <sighs> this is the case ID number which I also have the legal affidavit up against you, which is being issued by say the internal the revenue. Can I part of the problem yeah. is? Yeah. Okay, so I, as you probably know, I am uh, the voice on some major cartoons, and I um, have recently switched my accountant, and of course, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm quite convinced. <sighs> this guy. Quite a minute. He, okay. he, he probably didn't okay. know what he was doing. Oh, God. Just hold on. I will transfer my call to my senior investigation officer. He will handle the further details oh for God, you. The Just hold on. One. Okay. Yes, uh, thank you for holding the light. Your call has been transferred to one of the senior supervisors. Mm. You are speaking with Officer William Ho with the batch number 171063. I believe I'm talking to you, Mr. John Benjamin. Right? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, Mr. Benjamin, yes. my junior officer must have explained to you about uh, the payment, what you owe yes. to the IRS, no, about your case. I'm sorry, he didn't say a number. Let me just say, in my own defense, uh -huh. this was clearly a function of a new accountant that I have, and I, I'm going to fire him immediately. Uh-huh. I understand. Okay. See, Mr. Benjamin, this point of time, I believe he had explained to you about your case, the lawsuit which has been filed against you, and about your oh. arrest warrant. Am oh. I correct? Oh, no, he did not. I had no idea there was an arrest warrant. I obviously... Uh, look, uh -huh. I, I, I'm a voice on some major cartoons. I can't possibly be arrested. What can I do to get out of this? See, Mr. Benjamin, exactly the reason why we are getting arrested. Why you are getting arrested. Oh. It's because the reason why you are getting arrested is because when IRS always file lawsuit against U.S. citizens, they the even IRS. applied. They even apply for 
CP503 notice. That CP503 notice is an investigation arrest to warrant. Oh. Understand? Well, first of all, I have to tell you yes. that I, I philosophically believe that income taxes are theft. I, I, so I, I don't even subscribe to the notion that you have the right to tax me. But I understand if I'm, I, I understand I have to comport to your laws. Right. So the total amount what you owe to the IRS is five thousand seven hundred and eighty-six dollars. Oh. Well, that for me is is virtually nothing. I mean, I'm extremely successful. Uh, all right. Yeah. I understand, Mr. Benjamin. Right. See, today itself, if IRS gave you a chance to resolve this case, would you be able to come up with this total amount today itself? Today? Do you, do you need it today? Yes. Um, right. Well, of course. Uh, it's uh, uh, cash. Would cash be okay? If you have a cash, we have no problem. But you have to make How sure there are certain conditions. How would I get this to you? How would I get you the money? Uh, Mr. Benjamin, you're not going to send this money to me. You're going to pay this amount to the of IRS course. at the IRS official official website. Okay. Wh All right. What's the website? Let me about the payment process. Let me uh, explain about the payment procedure that you have to follow. Oh, uh, let me just be clear, sure though. Let me just be clear. This will get the charges dropped if I pay the money. Exactly. Okay. Once the payment will be getting accepted by the IRS, mm. that point of time, what the four charges has been pressed against you, that charges will be dropped down immediately. Okay. Do you know what a PD, PDF files are? A PDF. PDF copies. A PDF file? Yes. Is this something I committed? PDF files, which you can download as a soft copy from the internet. Oh, I see. Okay, yes. So, what you have to do, once you make this payment to the IRS, mm -hmm. there will be three pages. One, the cancellation, mistakes, what you have done under your tax paper. Mm -hmm. One it will be that PDF file. Mm -hmm. Second will be the cancellation arrest warrant. Of Third course. will be the received. Of course. Are we clear? Uh, no. Yes, I understand. Now, the uh, specific charges, this uh, does huh. not involve anything that happened with the, uh, the vehicle that I had uh, borrowed from my uncle. That is, that is nothing to do with that. No, that's nothing to do okay. with that. Okay, I just wanted to, to, be cl to clarify that because he was claiming that he was going to press charges, but he would not have done that with the IRS. Yes. Okay. Now, Mr. Benjamin, yes. in order to get this case resolved, there are certain conditions and there are certain protocols that you need to follow. The reason because IRS never accept payment over the phone call. Right, of course what not. You have to do, what you have to do is you have to physically do this payment on your own. Uh. But as you have no idea what this payment can be done and right. how this payment can be done, right. I will explain you how you can do this payment. Okay. But while you are doing the procedure, I need to record everything, whatever is going on between you and the IRS. I see. So we can have an idea. This recording will be played inside the courthouse that we can show them. We told you about the payment procedure and you had followed Now hold that. on. You're going to be recording yes. me? These lines have been getting recorded. Oh, gosh. You're talking with me on a federally monitored and recorded phone call. I, I just have to say, right uh -huh. now, I am... Uh -huh. I'm an acclaimed voice artist. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, some of my work. Uh, have you ever seen Archer? What is it? Well, it's on FX. It's a very popular show. Archer. So what is it? It's a cartoon. Okay. And Bob's Burgers. Uh-huh. That's on Fox. Right. Now, of course, the man who plays Hugo is more or less the lead of the show, but I, I support him in many ways. It is getting, it's getting, you're talking me, you're talking about something that it is out of this case. All right. Oh, no, I'm just simply saying activity. I'm a voice artist. If you're recording it, as long as it's not used for publication, because I am a member of a union. And I have contracts, and I don't want to violate those contracts. Hold on.
now. Yes. Uh, Mr. Benjamin, I'm going to transfer a phone call to the extension of my senior authority, and he will oh. be talking to you. He will guide you what the further payment procedure will be, and he will even tell you what the uh, certain protocol and procedure that you need to follow. Okay. All right? Yes. All right. And who? I'm sorry. Whom I will? Will you be? Hello. Hello. Who will you be transferring? Uh, hello. Ooh. All right. You there, sir? Yes, I am. All right. Now, sir, my name is Officer Alex Anderson. I'm the senior investigation officer working down on your case file. Alex Anderson. With the Attorney General Oy. in order to stop your arrest warrant and resolve your case. <sighs> All right. So, the Attorney General is involved in this? Yes, sir. Oh, God. So this call is federally monitored and recorded by the IRS, local police authorities, Attorney General's office, as well as God. the federal courthouse. Okay. Now, sir. Ah, do you God. know what is, do you know what is the outstanding tax amount I, that you owe to the IRS? Somewhere in the thousands of dollars, I believe. Right. The outstanding tax amount that you owe to the IRS, which is five thousand seven hundred and eighty-six dollars. Oh. So, if I give you a chance in order to stop your arrest warrant and resolve your case, I, would you be able to come up with the outstanding tax amount that you owe to the IRS today itself? Do oh. you have this much money with you or in your bank account? Of course, of course, I do. I, I, I spoke to earlier to the, uh, the, the gentleman I just spoke to. Uh, my uh -huh. issue is, listen, I am a fairly prominent, I mean, some would say extremely prominent, voice actor. And so uh, I, I just, I'm concerned about the recording of my voice. Well, this whole recording and this whole conversation is the only evidence you have as a proof of your... Settlement. Okay. All right. Well, then. Which is going to be going in well. your favor. Okay. Well, if it works in my favor, Wh what, what do I need to do? This is the only evidence you have as a proof of your settlement. This whole recording and this whole conversation is the only evidence you have as a proof of your settlement. Sh should, I, now, sir, should I be getting a lawyer? Uh, how long in prison? W I'm going to be guiding you, sir. I'm going to be guiding you. I'm going to be telling you how we're going to be working out things. Now, where okay. exactly are, sir? You're at your work or you're at your, ho you're at your home? Excuse me? Where exactly you are? You are at your work or you are at your home? Oh, well, I'm at work, of course. I mean, I... I am... I am I'm in my office. All right. So you, le you need to leave from your office. What I want you to do is I want you to grab a pen and paper with you, your driver's license, okay. your debit card or credit card, which we're going to be using. Of course. And I want you to leave from your office and I want you to get in your car. Now, once you get in your car... Wait. All right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be forwarding this recording to the Attorney General's office so they can work on your case file. All right, in order to stop your arrest warrant, I'm gonna be guiding you the further instructions, the protocols and the conditions which you're gonna be fi which you're gonna be following in order to stop your arrest warrant. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't have a car. Am I? What if I can get a bike? No problem, sir. That will do. Okay. So I don't have to go far. No, you need to leave from your office first. Okay. And I want you to go near to your bike. No. I will tell you what you gotta be doing. No, wait a second. Um, how will you be able to talk to me if I'm not in my office? I believe I'm speaking to you on your cell phone. No, no, you're not. This is your, this is your, this is your office phone. Well, I called my office phone because I got the phone call from the attorney general mm -hmm. on my uh, mobile phone, and I. Uh, uh, I get very poor reception here. I'm very concerned. What is your uh, oh, mobile number? Oh, God. Um, uh, uh, it is 917-555-5555. Is that your mobile number? What's that? Oh, no, no, no. My mobile, mobile number? number. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 917-555-4000. Are you sure this is your cell phone number? Let me just double check. Oh yeah. This is... Uh, uh, you can understand why I'm very disoriented right now. Is there any way that I could... Um, I could... I could just do this online? 
I, 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 to, to leave the work right now would be a problem for me. I have things to do very shortly. All right. Now, you tell me, sir, which card you're going to be using. Either it's going to be your debit card or credit card? Uh, uh, I can use either. Which is better? All right. You can use any of the cards, sir. Could you please help me out with your card information? Of course, of course. All right. Do you need my social security number for for to, to make sure that I'm credited on my account? No, it is not necessary, sir, okay. because this call is federally monitored and recorded, sir. Of course. Of course. Uh, so could you please help me out with your number? Yes. W do you take uh, American Express Platinum? Yes, sir. Okay, well. Do you want the number now? Yes, sir. Okay. Three... Seven, three, six, four, four, one, three, eight, one, one, nine, five, zero, three. Hello? That's all? That's... You wanted the credit card number, correct? Yes. Okay. Would you read it back to me? Could you please read it back to me, sir? Could you... Would you will you read it back to me? No, I did not make a note, so if, can you please read me the numbers one more time? Wait, you did... Do, do, uh, did you get the numbers? No, I did not. Okay. Do you want to read that back to me? I want you to read it back, sir, because I don't have the numbers. You don't? You didn't get the numbers? No. No. Uh, hello? No, I did not, sir. Okay. Do you want to read that back to me? Yeah, I want you to read it back, yeah. Okay. Would you read that back to me? I don't have the numbers, sir. I want you to read that back to me. Hello? Did you get the numbers? No. Okay, would you read that back to me, please? I did not get the number. Hello? D okay, did you get my... Do you, do, is that credit card okay? I want you to read me the card numbers one more time. Yes, I just did. Would you read them back to me? I want you to read it back one more time. Okay. D do you want a different credit card? Yeah. Uh, oh, a different... Okay, I will get you a different card. Is that, that card doesn't, okay. because I've had problems with that card. All right. Okay. Would you accept MasterCard? Yes, sir. Okay, this is not, there's no color associated with it. Okay, the number. Mm -hmm. Four, one, five, one, one, Nine, nine, four, five, one, three, four, five, 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 six. Do you want to read that back to me? Just give me a moment. Did you get it? Sir, are you trying to fool around? No, sir. Because this card is not valid. What are you talking about? That card is valid. I have it right here in my hand. Will you read back the number? I don't think you're taking the number right. Hello? 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 Can I go back to the other person? Hello? Hello?
What a rude man. Well, this is part of the problem with the American government. I mean, clearly, the enforcement actions of the IRS are not very good. God. Alex Anderson. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, shit.